I'm Vince Graves, Technical Advisor at Sega Manufacturing. To reach any of our customer care support staff, call us at 815-297-9500 or email us at customercare at sega.com. Today we're going to go over the steps of replacing your keypad. The first and most important step when replacing any electrical component in your vending machine is to make sure you're powered off. Unplug the machine from the wall before you start using any components that have a wire harness or are hooked directly to the board. When we open our service door, we'll find where our keypad is located. This is our mounting plate and our keypad harness. Once we're powered off, we'll want to unclip our keypad harness. We'll push on the black tab and separate these two. We'll move that out of our way. Now we'll see on our mounting plate, which can be different depending on the age and the exact model of your machine. This mounting plate has eight, eight nuts. We're going to want to remove the bottom ones in this pattern because they're the ones that are holding the keypad on. And the upper ones are holding the membrane to its outer pocket. So we'll remove these seven millimeter nuts with the nut driver. They're going to be loose almost just hand tight, so they're very easy to pull off. Once we've removed our mounting nuts, we can pull our keypad off. And now you can replace it with your new keypad, or if you have one that's locked into a mounting case, set it down flat and remove these four nuts, and then you can replace your keypad membrane and put your base back on. Once you've got your new one, it fits over the four welded PEMs on your door. Then you can replace your mounting nuts. Again, just hand tight. You don't need to tighten these up. Over tightening on your keypad will cause it to lock up or to not register properly. It creates uneven pressure. Once your mounting plate has been reinstalled, we can hook our wire harness back up, match the tabs up, and push this in until it snaps. Once that's been reinstalled, we can plug our machine back in. Once we've powered our machine back up, we can push our buttons to show that we've installed our keypad properly.